Hello kids, welcome to the class. So today we are going to learn about decimal numbers. Now basically what is decimal number? Whenever you went for any shopping, you must have seen this numbers popping up on your shopping bill. So can you see here, over here it is written 5.45, 2.55, 2.00 and 10.00. And over here you can see 1.00. Just like that, you must have seen when you are checking your weight, you can see numbers like 49.65 or 50.01 and so on. So this number over here are called as decimal number. So when you see a number like 4.53 and so on, this point over here is known as decimal point. So now you must be wondering from where did this decimal point come? So as per number system, be it any, Indian or international, you are aware of the places 1s, 10s, 100s and so on and you are aware of the place value 1, 10, 100. So you must be wondering, we have never seen anything decimal in this number system. So from where did it come, correct? So you are all aware of the places that are there in the left hand side of the place value system. But you are not aware of the thing that is there into the right of the number system. And that's, and that's where decimal number lies. So here you will see to the left comes ones, tens, hundreds, whose pl place value goes like one, ten, hundred. So to the right comes tens. Now how does, how are you going to write tens? It will be one upon ten. Just like that, the hundreds you write it in the manner 1 upon 100. Now here you will not leave it as a fraction. So when you convert this fraction into a decimal where you divide 1 by 10, you get answer as 0 0.1. Just like that, when you divide 1 by 100, you get answer as 0 0.01. So this is from where you get the decimal number. So now I'll just take one part of decimal number where you will be required to compare to given decimal number. It's a very simple topic. Here, what you have to do is always remember in decimal, whenever you are given any number, first compare the points. Okay, so I'll just write it here. here. Okay, first check where are the points. Here is one point, here is another point. Okay, now check who is there to the left of it. It is 0, 0, that means it is same. You cannot compare it. Then comes the point, so again you cannot compare, both are same. Now comes 3 and 4. Now tell me from 3 and 4, who is big? Number 4. That means 0 0.4 is greater than 0 0.3. Now let's check for the question over here. First check the decimal. Okay, here it is. Now check who is there to the left. First always start with the left number. It is 0 here, 0 here. Then comes point, point, cannot compare. Again 0, 0, cannot compare because both are same. Now comes 7 and 2. So who is it? Of course 7 is big. That means 0 0.07 is greater than 0 0.02. Now let's check over here. Here it is 3 and here it is 0 0.8. Now, I cannot see any decimal in the 3. So, where is the decimal? Always remember, whenever you see any number without decimal, that means the decimal point will always be after that number. It is like in fraction when we say number 3, in which place it is? It will be in the numerator place and in the denominator it will always be 1. Always. So just like that here in decimal when there is no decimal you cannot see any decimal beside any number that means the decimal point will always be after that number be it one digit number two digit number three any even if it is 300 the decimal will be after 300 okay so as i said the decimal point over here is after three so i have put the three point and then here it is 0 
Now first find the decimals over here and over here. Now check who is there to the left of it. This is the reason why I start always from left. So here it is 3 and here it is 0. So now you only tell me who is big and who is small is 3. So, so over here 3 is greater than 0 0.8. And now the last question I will take over here is 1.23 or 1.2. Now as I said always start with point decimal so decimal decimal here now start with the left hand side is here it is 1 here it is 1 cannot compare here it is 2 here it is 2 cannot compare now here it is 3 and here there is nothing so when there is nothing that means there is nothing you have to compare over there so definitely who will be big over here it is again number 3 so between 1.23 and 1.2 number 1.23 is great hope you have understood if yes please subscribe to my channel meet you in the next class till then take care bye bye